Armed with stealth F-35 jets, Israeli strike on Iranian nuclear facility failed. Israel has threatened to attack Iran as Tehran continues to enrich uranium beyond permissible limits set under an earlier nuclear deal. As talks between Iran and the United States to revive the deal, officially called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, remain inconclusive, the shrill from Tel Aviv is getting louder. However, the claim to attack Iran could prove hollow as Washington has refused to expedite the sale of a system that Israel would need to bomb Iran if the need arises. The new commander of the Israel Air Force Major General Tomer Bar has indicated that if required, Israel could hit Iran's nuclear program tomorrow. While the United States has said that it will have to come up with a plan B in the event of the talks falling apart again, it is not immediately clear what such a plan entails for Iran. Though the U.S. remains Israel's closest partner, it recently shot down its request to expedite the sale of Boeing mid-air refuelers, a system without which Israel cannot attack Iran. Despite allegations that the IAF's preparations for a future strike on Iran are being hampered by a shortage of funding, the incoming chief stated that the issue is not black and white. We aren't starting from the beginning. We've got F-35s, for multi-layer defense, we purchased hundreds of Iron Dome interceptors. While Israel does have the American F-35 stealth fighters, called F-35 Ayadir, the aircraft cannot fly to Iran and come back without refueling. The refueling would require the F-35s to either land at a friendly base near Iran, an option that is too far-fetched for Israel or it would need to be refueled by a tanker. However, with the U.S. refusing to fast-track the sale of KC-46 tankers, the possibility of Israel bombing Iran remains bleak for now. The F-35s have been proudly mentioned as the fighter with which the commander would bomb Iran but will have to either make a pit stop at UAE or Saudi Arabia, neither of which would want to be linked to an attack on their rival Iran, at least directly. Even though there has been no direct mention of airstrikes on Iran and the delaying of the KC-46 tanker sale in the talks, it could be speculated that the US has been treading carefully so as to avoid any untoward crisis that engulfs the wider region and has ramifications for its partners and allies.